Hi everyone, this is Shirley Joss. I thought I'd like to, I would come take you, <laughs> I would take you with me for this devotional or time with Jesus, coffee with Jesus. I thought I would film this one because, well, I love talking about Jesus. I love Jesus and you know, he's my savior. He's my everything. I was just looking at um, Matthew 13 today. Let's go there, shall we? Matthew chapter 13. go down to verse 24 so we are reading Matthew chapter 13 in verse 24 okay he put another parable before them saying the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field but while his men were sleeping his enemy came and sowed seeds among the wheat and went away. So, when the plants came up and bore again, then the weeds appeared also. And the servants of the master of the house came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have weeds? He said to them, An enemy has done this. So the servants said to him, Then, do you want us to go and gather them? But he said, No, lest in gathering the weeds you would root up the wheat along with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time I will tell the reapers, Gather the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned. But gather the wheat into my barn. So that's what I've been reading about today. And I think... We are at this time of uh, the church era that the harvest is, you know, ongoing. The harvesting of souls, I mean. And uh, for me, the Lord has been speaking about this um, wheat and tares right before the lockdowns happened, actually. So, uh, he said there's going to be a sifting of the wheat and the tares that means the children of god within the church this is within the church this is the real remnant and as opposed to the christians so-called christians that say they are christians but they're not because they don't really follow christ and they, they don't really obey him so this is what's happening, I believe, in the world today. He is dealing with his people now. He is separating the true from the fake, the holy from the profane. And I think that's the gist of that. I mean, we need to get right with God, actually. <laughs> if you are already a Christian and you are a professing Christian, I think we all need to look into our lives and see what are we doing? Are we really followers of Jesus? Or are we just in word following him but not in deed? Because his children hear him. The sheep hear his voice. No matter what the world is doing, all the propaganda, all the lies in the social media and mainstream media, you know, the only truth is the, the truth of the Word of God. This is our standard for life. This is the basis of our life, actually. So, I mean, now we are seeing that 
the prophecies in the Bible, they're happening right before our eyes. Wars, rumors of war. I've uh, mentioned that in, in Matthew 24. Matthew 24. He said, you'd be hearing of wars and rumors of wars, but don't let your heart be troubled, he said, because the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Where is that? I can't even find it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are but the beginning of birth pains. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and put you to death, and you will be hated by nations, by all nations, for my name's sake. This is happening now. There's so many martyrs now for Jesus. And then many will fall away and betray one another and hate one another. And many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. And because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. So it means we have to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. And this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to all the nations. And then the end will come. So we are church age era that the Bible is has prophesied about. And it will be a, the greatest time for the believers. If you are with Christ, it will be your time. <laughs> because He has a plan for you and you have a heavenly mission. You need to find that and you need to know that from the Lord. So right now, I think we all need to make our, our hearts right with God. That's the only way to survive this crazy upheavals, crazy tribulant times. Because if you are a believer in Jesus, then things will look up. The next main event that's going to happen is when Jesus will come and take his people. Call it the rapture. And uh, we need to be ready for that. So if you are listening and you do not know Jesus and you think there's no hope, well, there is hope for you. He, he is the giver of hope giver of life he is the only answer to all this craziness going on around us so if you do not know jesus or if you have been a christian and you do not you're not sure of your salvation now is the time to ask the lord to really come into your life and show you his plan for you he has a specific plan i mean for you it's tailor suit for you tailor suited or tailor cut for you so i just urge you if you want to give your life to jesus who is the answer to everything and pray this prayer after me father god i come to you in the name of jesus i ask you to fill me with your spirit i give my life to you i am a sinner and i have been lost but now I want to be in your will. I want to get right with you, Lord. I give my life to you. I rededicate my life to you. And do to me as you will. Change my life, Lord, and show me where to go and what to do. Holy Spirit, I pray that you'll fill me and renew me and make me whole. I pray this and I confess that Jesus is Lord and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. I believe I am saved today, and if I have wavered, I rededicate my life to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. And let me pray for you. Father, for those who have prayed this prayer, I pray that you will lead them to the right church. The church that is really your church where you are moving and the Holy Spirit has free reign. Lead them to the right pastors, the right church for them. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So there you have it. This is um, my a little a snippet, <laughs> a snippet of my studies and my prayer life. You know, I we need the Lord <laughs> really. There is nobody else that understands you better than Him, and He knows your needs before you can realize them really. And he's already rescued you from many disasters that you don't even know about. So this is why I remain grateful to him because he has really been my deliverer, my redeemer, savior. He's been my everything. And if he is your everything, you have access to the kingdom. 
of heaven which is prosperity no lack no disease just joy and peace in the holy ghost i mean i know we we have to battle a lot on earth you know sometimes you get ill sometimes you get discouraged or sometimes you go through depression but you know the lord as long as you stick with the lord he will deliver you every single time every single time just walk by faith this is the time to walk in the supernatural now we cannot walk by what we see all around us we walk by faith not by sight and we hold on to jesus the author and the finisher of our faith so there you have it i hope you're blessed and i hope that you will have a great day today it's great here today the sun is up everything is shiny and blue <laughs> i love it so I'm, I'm really grateful to the Lord. He has been my shield and buckler. So let him be yours too. Thank you so much for your time. I pray that you will continue to walk in his ways, that he will reveal himself to you. Because there's nothing like Jesus and there's nobody like him. Okay, take care for now. Bye.